Okay, I was also asked about this problem. 8x minus, oop, where'd it go? 8x minus 25 equals 3x. Now, if you don't understand what's really going on here, this could be very confusing. So this is what we have. We're saying that eight of these x's, right here, eight of these x's, which is x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x, plus x and I think one more x, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight. There are eight x's take away 25, that equals 3x's. So x plus x plus x. Now where x is a number, and we're being asked to guess, well, what is x? x is one number, and it's going to make this true. So we've got 8 of whatever the number is over here. Take away 25, the number 25, and you'll be left with 3 of that number. So we really need to get the x's together, okay? Let's do that. Um, I have to make the x's equal 0 on one side or the other side. So I think it would be easier to make them equal 0 over here on the right side, and this is how I do that. I say minus x and minus x. Remember, whatever I do to one side of an equation, I have to also do to the other side. Now I'm going to subtract x, and I'm going to subtract x. I'm going to subtract x, and I'm going to subtract x. Now, if I add these together, what I'll get, I, I'm calling them adding, but really subtracting, x minus x is 0. x minus x is 0. And x minus x is 0. And what that's going to equal, let's come over here, I'll have the minus 25, bring that down, because it's not doing anything. And then this x minus x is 0, and x minus x is 0, and x minus x is 0. And then I have these x's right here, and they're left over. So that's 1, 2, 3, four, five. There are five x's left over, whatever that number is. Okay, and then plus zero, zero, zero. Now what is zero plus zero plus zero? Zero plus zero plus zero is just zero. Okay, there's our minus 25. These guys up here are 0. And then we've got the 5x's. Well, 0 added on to 5x's is just 5x's. So 1 plus another plus another plus another plus another minus 25 equals 0. Well, what minus 25 equals 0? 25, right? 25 minus 25 equals 0. So that means that this, these five x's, which are all the same number, you've got five of all the same number, they have to equal 25 so that we have 25 minus 25.
because that will be zero. So what number can you add to itself five times to equal 25? Well, let's see if I've got x plus x plus x plus x plus x equals 25, then that means I have to split 25 into five equal pieces, and each one of those pieces will be x. So let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now, I have 25 ones there, and I need to get them into five equal groups. Now, when you fool around with these long enough, you will find that if I have five equal groups, each one of those groups is going to have five in it. So I can say one, two, three, four, five, and group these together. One, two, three, four, five, and group these together. One, two, three, four, five, and group these together. One, two, three, four, five, and group these. Whoop, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then one, two, three, four, five. There are five equal groups. So that means x is five because five plus five plus five plus five plus five equals 25. So if each of these x's represents the number 5, then that will give me 25 minus 25 equals 0. So x is going to equal 5. Okay.